What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. You know, I was recently looking at a video on Deontay Wilder, and he gave his prediction of, or should I say his desire of the winner, or who he thinks will be the winner out of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz, okay, and it dawned on me, something Deontay Wilder said in this interview, which made me realize something very, very important, Deontay Wilder is not a true rival of Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder did say, oh, this is my ultimate rival, but I found that to be false, Okay, let me explain. Um, the definition of rivalry, okay, is the objective or the competition for the same objectives, right? Which they don't have the same objectives, or the superiority superiority in the same field, okay, that last part, superiority in the same field, they are in the same field, they're boxers, they're professional boxers, professional prize fighters, but that second sentence in that definition is more based on commercial rivalry, so to be politically correct, Deontay Wilder is not a physical rival, a rival, because he doesn't want the same objectives as Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's objectives are, hey, I want these belts. So what did he do? He put that into corresponding action. He started collecting these belts. He started to do a Thanos-like process where he went from fighter to, cha to champion to champion and took those belts from the champion. Okay, That's what he did. That's what happened and fought top 10 comp competition all the way through. Deontay Wilder didn't do that. Deontay Wilder fought whoever they put in front of him. He trusted his management team. He followed his management team. He beat a lot of people that weren't in the top, uh, weren't nowhere near the top 10, okay? He fought them, he beat them, he knocked them out. But there were no unifications. There was no situation where he wanted to fight top opposition. One fighter that did stick out, that Joshua did fight and knock out in the seventh round, ironically, was Alexander Povetkin. And Deontay Wilder uh, was up to fight him, which that was really his first step up. You know, and I believe that was in 2017, I believe. 17? Yeah, when all that went down. And uh, it got real nasty because, you know, a drug test, it was something that was on the banned substance list, or it wasn't on the banned substance list that Pavetkin was taking. Then it got on the banned substance list. Then he tested positive after the fact. None of that wasn't Deontay's fault. Okay, you can't fault him. You know, I think um, that that was on Pavetkin. Because, you know, he was taking something that was on the banned substance list. Now, Wilder, the reason why I say he's not a true rival of Anthony Joshua is because a true rival hates the idea, hates the idea of someone beating the person that they really wanted to face. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if Deontay Wilder really desired to fight Anthony Joshua... He would be upset, you know, his behavior would be a lot different than it was when Joshua was defeated. You know, you'd hate that, like, dude, that could have been me. You know what I mean? That's the attitude you spoke, that you're supposed to have, and he didn't have that. And I used to really think Deontay Wilder really wanted to fight Joshua. Then it became clear to me that, no, he doesn't want to fight Joshua. He wants to be Joshua. You know, 
That's what I mean, that commercial rivalry. That's the type of shit that you want to be and you want you see what a person has and you want it. It's envy. It's not jealousy. That's two different things. Jealousy is Deontay Wilder's wife talking about Joshua all the time and he fears that Joshua's going to take his wife because that's his wife, okay? Because for people don't know what definitions mean, let me break it down to you. So out of that, out of fear that Joshua may come and take something that's his, okay? That that for that person's jealous. Okay? Envy is really the opposite of jealousy. Envy is something that you want that someone else already has. So let's just say Joshua hated the idea or, or wanted Deontay Wilder's wife. You know, same situation, different uh, ex- explanation of, of words. And Joshua wanted that and he hated Deontay Wilder because he couldn't have that. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference. And that's what we have with Deontay. Deontay was happy, in fact, that he didn't have to fight him. He didn't give a shit who beat Joshua, as long as somebody did, okay? As long as somebody beat Anthony Joshua, he was happy. He wasn't even pissed off about it. That's what led me to suspicion, like, okay, why the hell are you so happy? You know, if he gets beat and he ain't shit, you don't get a huge payday like you were offered. So why are you happy? You know, you think that is getting, you know why? Because he's thinking to himself, now I can become Anthony Joshua. Now I can become that guy that Joshua once was. Now I can get everything that he had and then some, but do it my way. That's what he was thinking, I bet on myself. So when once that happened, he was like, cool, I'm going to get Anthony Joshua's uh, 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 stardom and uh, star power. I'm going to get that shit. That shit belongs to me now. Okay? Because Ruiz is under me and I'm the WBC champion. So if they weren't talking about those other belts and someone else has the other belts, he they won't get the money or the attention of once Anthony, Anthony Joshua got. But things backfire and things don't go is according to plan like you think or like he thought. Now everyone's talking, still talking about the rematch because Joshua, of course, he exercised the rematch clause. And ever since then, that's what people have been talking about. Well, to avoid a fight with Anthony Joshua, he took a fight with Ortiz. The numbers didn't do well at all. They supposed to did well than uh, expected. And I'm going to do a video on that for you Wilder guys. <laughs> okay. But it's one of those situations where he picked a guy to avoid another guy because he didn't want to fight Joshua. Because, see, if he fought Joshua, he can, and he, if he loses, he loses everything. He loses the belt. He loses any talks of Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder turns and he, he, he becomes nothing mere than a Charles Martin. You know what I'm saying? He, that's all he would be at that point. And he knew that. And his team didn't want him to do that because his team, they're not used to Deontay Wilder taking chances. And fighting Joshua is taking a chance, just like fighting Klitschko was taking a big chance. But Joshua took out Klitschko. Now you have to deal with Joshua. They didn't want that because of the style. Because they knew this guy could hurt Deontay Wilder. So if Ortiz, being that the age that he is, could hurt Deontay Wilder, why couldn't Anthony Joshua? They knew definitely that guy could do that. You know, for that same reason, people think, oh, well, Anthony Joshua surely can't beat uh, Deontay Wilder since Ruiz beat him. (laughs) So it's one of those things where that rivalry is not warranted. That's not the true definition of what Deontay Wilder is to Anthony Joshua. You know, he's more he's nothing more than a commercial rivalry because he wants what Anthony Joshua has. That's what he wants. Okay, that's why. Also to explain, 
it was to him, it was a slap in the face. OK, it was a slap in the face to um, Deontay Wilder to receive any offers from Anthony Joshua, because the idea of someone uh, offering him something in his mind, he's the A side. OK, that that's how Deontay thinks. That's all ego. That's ba that's not based on fact. That's based on ego and emotion. We know Deontay Wilder is an emotional person. But what people need to understand, Deontay Wilder is also a very egotistical person. That's why he always wants to, he wants uh, uh, Floyd's good graces because we know Floyd is an ego man, egotistical maniac. <laughs> we know that for a fact. But one thing we need to understand that Deontay Wilder is also very egotistical. Okay. So the idea of uh, a side offering him money is ludicrous. It's insulting to him. It's an insult. OK, so when they offered 12 million, he called in slave wages, 12.5. But Andy Ruiz is getting 13 million and that's just fine. See, here's the thing. This is something you think about. I know this is lengthy, but I have to counterpunch and explain. If what Ruiz accepted. OK, if that was bad, if that was considered bad him being the unified champion as opposed to the uh, uh, single WBC champion with one belt. Why isn't that a topic of discussion from uh, Wilder? Think about it. Why You haven't seen any time Wilder say, hey, I wouldn't have accepted that $13 million because I'm worth more than that. That tells you something right then. One the money's good enough for Andy Ruiz, $500,000 more, which is pretty much the same amount. OK, so the money is good enough for Ruiz, but it's not good enough for Deontay Wilder. That alone tells you Deont Deontay Wilder thinks too highly of himself, you know, and I used to just think the man wanted too much money to fight Anthony Joshua. But now I realize that that's not the truth. You know, that $50 million counter offer, you have 24 hours, you have no contract. You have, you know, you just must say yes to something that you have, you don't even know anything about and you got 24 hours to do it. <laughs> uh, it you know, it's and then you will get offered that times two and you still don't want to fight. You didn't want to fight to begin with. OK, then you get happy when that guy gets beat. So obviously you didn't care about the money or the offer because, again, it was an insult. Whatever the money, I don't give a shit if it was two hundred million dollars. It would that wouldn't have been the point to them. The point to them would be. You don't offer us anything because we have just as much legitimacy as you as uh, because we're champions. That's the mindset of Deontay Wilder. And that's why he feels bigger than what he really is. Not knowing his numbers, the amount of money he makes is not even compared to old heavyweights of, of yesteryear. That's really not a lot of money. And money meant more in the 90s. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like he didn't make Tyson money. Deontay Wilder never made Tyson money. Think about it. You know, Lennox Lewis himself said, I would have took the money. But that's all he said. Shh, shh. You know, so who is really asking for too much and who is really wanting to fight who? You know, I think back to the beginning, the rivalry doesn't mean what people think it means. OK, Um the ultimate rivalry? No, it's not. He's the he, he Anthony Joshua is the ultimate person that he envies because he knows he thinks of him when he thinks of someone successful and getting something that or being somewhere that he wants to be. And that's Anthony Joshua. And he hates that. He can't stand that idea. You see what I'm saying? Anytime that you have a person that cheers for a person's downfall when that was supposed to be a person that you wasted what a year and a half to try to to try to get a fight with or a fight done what do you think you know what i mean so that there explains this total rivalry physical rivalry no commercial rivalry yes because he wants to place uh replace anthony joshua but anyway that's me explaining it in full you guys tell me what you think about this particular video. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched.
Peace.